please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Morris Hills. Today is Monday, April 25th, and this is nighttime in the morning. In class news, attention graduating seniors, the application deadline for the two painting positions for this summer has been extended to Friday, April 29th at 3 p.m. If you are interested, pick up an application in Mr. Murrell's or the general office. Junior prom bids will be on sale before school on Tuesday and before and after school on Wednesday and Thursday in room 201. To see your individual prom bid price, please look at the list outside room 201 and 113. Come prepared with your form filled out and an exact check or cash to Morse Hills Junior Class. Attention all juniors. This is a reminder that Junior Prom Pictures pre-sale will take place on Wednesday, May 4th during all three lunches. Extra forms can be found in room 201. The final safe driving presentation will be held Wednesday at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Attendance will be taken and you must attend with a parent. In school news, students who have applied for independent study through the Gifted and Talented program should pick up their interview passes in the gym lobby today during lunch. The DVD of A Christmas Carol is available for purchase for $7. Please see Ms. Lavin to order your copy through May 1st. In Clubs News, meeting Tuesday is all ITS members and inductees in room 219. Please bring your induction forms, fees, and bios. Meeting Wednesday is the French Club in 211. We will be discussing our field trip in May and also our Red Cross donation. The Hope Club Gardener, Gardeners will be meeting every Tuesday and Thursday after school in the Courtyard Hope Garden. Please feel free to join us. See Mrs. Paulson or Ms. Triantophilus with questions. Also, the Hope Club will host local shares director and founder Ms. Christine Prada at our next meeting on Wednesday at 3.05 p.m. and 2.16. Please join us as we learn about food waste prevention, gleaning opportunities, and opportunities for local shares internships. Thank you, Morris Hills. I'm Megan Pickett. And I'm Taylor Messino. Now here is today's update. Here is today's update. The library and the after school library will be open starting today. G&T independent study students, don't forget to pick up your interview passes today in the gym lobby during lunches. And now here is the third SAT tip of the day, followed by the campaign speeches for next year's junior class. The math questions are made to look like test questions in your normal high school class. Doing your homework and paying attention in your regular math classes will really help you prepare for the new SAT. But practice using your calculator ahead of time. Knowing when to use parentheses and which keys make exponents will save you time. However, on the SAT, there are non-calculator and calculator sections. Hello, I am Eduardo Delgado, your senior class treasurer. Here are the speeches for the candidates running for the junior class office. First up for treasurer is Esritha Guduru. Hi, my name is Esritha Guduru, and I'm running for treasurer. Next year, as everyone knows, is junior prom, and no one wants to pay a ton of money for a ticket. Junior prom should not be about having to constantly worry about how we're going to find the money for a ticket. As treasurer, I will lower the prices next year for our junior prom. Junior year is important because we need to save up money to take with us to senior year. No one wants to be broke so that we can enjoy our last year in high school. I promise that I will fundraise next year so that our class has one less problem to worry about. So vote for me as Rita Gaduru for treasurer. And remember, vote for the best so you won't be stressed. Thank you, Azritha. For the final candidate for treasurer is Franny Lee. Hi, my name is Franny Lee, and I'm here to make Morris Hills great again. This year, I'm running for junior class treasurer because soon we'll all be juniors, and I want to make sure that the last few years of high school will be the most memorable years yet. 
I've had many years of experience as previous class treasurer, and I will continue to listen and take into account everyone's concerns and ideas in order to find the right compromise between fun and budget. That way, everyone can, have a can take part and have a good time at events such as Beer Week, Battle of Classes, and Junior Prom. Vote for Annie Lee. I got your back, you and me, for junior class treasurer. Thank you. Thank you, Franny. Now running for secretary is Emily Curley. Hello, my name is Emily Curley, and I'm running for junior class secretary. To make an amazing junior year, you need someone who is responsible, hardworking, and a leader, all qualities that I possess. Junior year can get a little hectic between taking SATs and ACTs, looking for colleges, and more. This is why you want someone who can take charge in this crazy year of changes and ease the stress of our junior year in any way possible. Firstly, I want us to make as many memories as we can as we enter our final two years of high school. This means organizing and fundraising as many events as we can for the next two years. All this planning, fundraising, and hard work will pay off in the end when we have an amazing junior prom. I also ensure that next year's prom will be as affordable as possible and a wonderful night to remember. I also want to improve school activities such as pep rallies and the battle of the classes so everyone in the school can enjoy these events. This includes making sure our class fundraisers are not only successful in raising money, but are also fun and exciting. Thank you, and don't forget to vote for me, Emily Curley, for next year's junior class secretary. Thank you, Emily. And the final candidate for secretary is Susie Shalish. Hi, my name is Susie Shalish, and I would love to be your junior class secretary. I have very fierce competition, but by, I believe that there are many reasons to vote for me. Firstly, I have the leadership qualities required for this position. In fact, many of you may know that I was a freshman and secretary, freshman secretary last year, and I am currently the sophomore class secretary. So I have experience. Being a part of SGA for two years has been a wonderful experience for me. I love that I have a say in what goes on in my school. I hope to continue on this journey. Finally, and most importantly, I am a caring and friendly person. If you vote for me, I will work my hardest to make sure that the class of 2018 has an incredible and unforgettable homecoming, battle of the classes, and prom experiences. I will also make sure that I am open and available for any of you to approach me with any ideas that you may have. So if you want a class officer who is experienced and friendly, vote Susie Shalish for junior class secretary. Thank you. Thank you, Susie. Our final candidate for vice president is Christine Connolly. My name is Christine Connolly, and I'm running for a vice president for next year's junior class. I'm seeking this position to further be involved in the class and to help the president run an enjoyable prom. I'm an organized and attentive student that will listen to the ideas you give me. I will also come up with creative fundraisers for prom and other things in your interest, too. Also, I will help make noticeable changes within the school, changes that you suggest. Finally, I'm the best choice for this position since I'm the most reliable and qualified for this position. Remember, for the most Christine, vote Christine. Thank you, Christine. Our final candidate for vice president is Alex Romanoff. My name is Alexander Romanoff, and I am running for the 2016-2017 school year junior class vice president. I'd like to open with a quote. Abraham Lincoln once said, when I get ready to talk to people, I spend two thirds of the time thinking about what they want to hear and one third thinking about what I want to say. Well, I plan to do the opposite. I wanna listen to what you have to say. Each idea conceived by the student body will be taken into consideration to make Morris Hills a more convivial and enjoyable place to learn. As you know, the student council works hand in hand with the administration as well as the student body to ensure that school events, such as prom, are enjoyable as possible. As Vice President of the Junior Class, I will ensure that your 2016-2017 school year is one you will not forget. Today, I am asking for your vote for Vice President. In the event that I am elected, I will address your concerns and work hard for you, the student body. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. And now, first up for Junior Class President is Aaron Foodie. Hello, Morris Hills Class of 2018. I, Aaron Foodie, am running for your junior class president. When elections roll around, the question always arises, what does the president actually do? Well, personally, I want to make my and your high school experience great. I plan to carry this out by holding various fundraisers, increasing attendance at sporting events, and of course, making next year's prom something you won't want to miss. Additionally, I want all of your voices to be heard. So as president, I will attempt to get your feedback 
to, and to ensure that everybody is satisfied with my work as president. So when election day comes around, remember, don't be moody, vote for Aaron Foodie. Thank you, Aaron. Our second candidate for president is Katie Marvin. Hi, my name is Katie Marvin, and I am running for junior class president. As John F. Kennedy once said, efforts and courage are not enough without purpose and direction. I believe that in running for class president, I can contribute ideas for our class so when we do graduate, we will be left with the fun memories of high school. I have the qualifications for this position because I work and communicate well with others, I tend to be creative, and I am responsible. If elected, I will help and create ideas for fundraisers, take in consideration every idea students and teachers contribute to the junior class, and work with others to make sure prom is a magical night for us. I am the best candidate for president because I take pride in my school and the community. It would be a pleasure to lead my classmates in a fun-filled junior year. So make sure to vote Katie Marvin for junior class president. Thank you, Katie. Our third candidate is Jeffrey Sun. Junior year is an extremely important year in high school. For most of us, it marks our first experiences with beating every other class in Battle of the Classes, driving, and of course, prom. And unfortunately, these experiences can only come once. Our class needs someone who is involved in every way in Morris Hills who is capable of solving any problems we might have. As a three-season cross-country and track runner, as well as a member of way too many clubs to count, there is no candidate more immersed in student life than I am. As a student who regularly has to travel 30 minutes just to make it to school on time, I understand the importance of the commitment needed to serve as president next year. The junior class needs someone it can trust to reliably and responsibly make next year the best it can possibly be, and there is no one better qualified to carry out these responsibilities than Jeffrey's son. Thank you. Thank you, Jeffrey. And last but not least, our final candidate for president is Zaire Turner. Hi, I'm Zaire Turner, current class president. I won't be cliche and tell you that I'm going to approve lunch or say whatever other class president speech consists of. Instead, what I will say is that if I'm elected, I will make our junior year the best year. If you've been paying attention this year, I, along with the other class advisors, have achieved multiple things such as a successful battle of the classes, homecoming, hall decorating, and several other events. I'm also a reliable person and you can surely count on me to make this upcoming year the best one it could be. As well as that, I have plenty of new ideas to improve the quality of, of our school. One example being more opportunities outside. So, when you're voting this year, don't forget to vote for me, Zaire Turner. Thank you, Zaire. These are the candidates for junior class office. Don't forget to vote in the back of the cafeteria on Tuesday, April 26th.